welcome back guys welcome to another series of uh, uh, biology with math and we are talking about different biological problems now let's talk about this problem this is again going to be another very easier Meselson stahl experiment kind of problem so let's look at it in the Meselson and stahl experiment E. coli cells grown on a heavy nitrogen uh, and were transferred uh, into the light nitrogen containing medium what percent of the DNA can be expected to be constituted of light nitrogen after three generations of multiplication? So what they wanted to know is what percentage of DNA will have light nitrogen completely made up with light nitrogen after three generations of multiplication. So the scenario is, you know, at the very beginning, everything was in heavy nitrogen and then they are transferred into the light nitrogen, right? That is the actual thing. Now, during the, their place, during those cells are placed in heavy nitrogen, all their bases will be tacked with heavy nitrogen. As a result, their DNA will have heavy nitrogen. And let us draw the heavy nitrogen with this red color. So, heavy, heavy, both this chain are heavy. Both the strands are heavy, right? And then, they started to divide, started to replicate after the transfer. So, here goes the transfer. The transfer thing occurs now. After the transfer, how they replicate? You know, now you need to know how DNAs replicate. I have been doing this, I mean, I have been sharing this type of problem quite a long time. So, you can see my video, the previous video. Write exactly the previous video of this one. You can find the same problem where I explain the semi-conservative model of DNA replication. There is once, the DNA always works like that. Two, so, suppose these are the parent strand, then they are separated. Each of those parent strands are taken as a template and a new daughter strand is synthesized. That's the way DNA replicate and that is called semi-conservative model because they conserve their old strand. They conserve their whole old strand and synthesize a new one using that old strand as a template. So in this case what we know, so if these are the old parent strands, so they will be just kept as they were and instead of that they produce and add new strand, say this blue are new strand. So here blue means new and new means obviously light here because we have already been transferred them into the light uh, you know light nitrogen containing media so whatever basis will be added afterwards will contain light nitrogen they won't contain heavy nitrogen so in this case if we have this and then after that the in second case in generation 2 again this red one and let's say this blue one will be separated and then Again, two new daughter strands, which will be blue because of light nature, because blue means light in this case, will be produced. Similarly, the same case occurs with the other strand, right? So, they are produced. This is. After that, in the third generation, what happens? We took this one, right? So, this red one as the parent, right? Blue one as another parent and then new strands will be added which are also blue similarly in this case blue strand this blue strand here this goes another parent they are taken as a template and new strands are made so that is the same condition and that thing occurs to these things too so I am just simply drawing it because it is easy to draw now right because this is the same thing like the previous so I've drawn that ultimate number of DNAs and that is the number of 8 DNAs are being produced now from 1 we are having now 8 after this transfer so now the question is what percentage of the DNA can be expected to be constituted of only light nitrogen that means only light light because two strands are there both of strands will be light so in this case this one is heavy light this one is heavy light Rest of all of them, because you know blue means light, remember? So all, sorry, all of them here are light. Right? So that means light, the percentage of light here will be, you know, 6 out of total is 8. Right? Multiply it by 100 because we are calculating the percentage. Here will be, it is 75%. So 75% of the time, 
you will get live nitrogen. I mean, not 70%, 5% of the time, actually 75% of that population will contain light, light strand of the DNA, right? And that's how you need to solve this type of questions. Now, in all this case, the only thing you need to know is how DNA replicate, that is the semi-conservative model of replication. Along with that, you need to know that once you put them into the heavy nitrogen medium, they will uptake heavy, metabolize that, and ultimately you see those reflection in the DNA, similarity that occurs in the light chain, right? So that's it guys, thank you.